You know, it's pretty crazy because I did just review Fairy Tale uh, 466, and I said that it was an okay chapter. I didn't necessarily overly like love it, but I did enjoy it. It's crazy how much I love this chapter a little bit more than Fairy Tales. Uh, I'm going to be honest, man. I, I love UQ Holder. I mean, it has, especially with uh, everything that's going on at this point. So what we had left off in the last chapter, we're talking UQ, UQ Holder 106. Did not expect this. Did not expect it the way it went and how much of a backstory we got from Kiri. How much uh, feelings... She, she really let out and how she snapped out of, like, got the freeze frame to stop, the glitch to stop. I did not expect a lot of this stuff. The only thing I really, the only thing I did expect was uh, Toto to, Tota to do something with Yukihime, not, like, either tell him, tell her his feelings or something like that, a little more about his feelings, or maybe put the buttons back on her shirt or something like that. Nothing indecent, like Kiri thought. He was going to do what he ended up doing was putting his jacket over yukahime and that's that's a cute little moment there he loves her he loves her there is one point in this chapter where kiri says hey tota do you still like yukahime he does i mean i don't think it's th that those feelings are going to ever disappear and i i like that i like those two together but i do like the other girls like i said and i and i started to like kitty even more in this chapter now in this chapter we saw this st there's still a glitch there's still time is still frozen so they're trying to get by right they're trying to get by uh kitty's kind of by herself. she does see what uh tota's doing she wants to be left alone she wants to be left alone because she knows that he still loves her he still loves her so uh what tota does is he trains so three days go by a week goes by all right a month goes by he's still training everybody's frozen even his uh sword is frozen three months go by i think i think the ending time was four months go by and Kitty is just a wreck. She's like, I'm sorry, like I it's my fault and incompetent. And you know, Tota's not not like used to that. So he's like, Don't don't say you're sorry, like this and that. Like, come on, tell me I'm an idiot or something, incompetent or something like that. So he's not used to it. Uh he goes to go to sleep. Well, he wants to climb the tower. He wants to climb the tower. He says, Okay, this is good as it's ever gonna be. You know, maybe I'll get one of those ships, maybe I'll be able to go in the tower, you know, at least good get as far as I can. And Kitty just like just gets him and says, Don't leave me. Don't leave me, please. Uh, I don't want you to go. And Toto's like, Oh, but didn't you like you never want me around? This and that. Like, do you hate me that much? Like, I don't want you to go. And Toto's like, Oh no, I don't hate you. It's just you always seem like, you know, you want me to you want your space. Like we're gonna be okay. You do your thing, I do my thing. Like they're the only two that are stuck in this that are can actually move around and interact. You know, everybody's in a glitch. So, Toto says, all right, I'll stay. And Toto's about to go to sleep. And then Kiri comes in. She's like, oh, can, I, can I sleep with you? And Toto's like, what? What are you talking about? Don't don't you, like, I thought you never wanted to. Like, you don't want to, you know, just the way you act with me. And Kiri's like, oh, I, I'm really lonely. I just, I just want to, you know, is it okay? And Toto's like, yeah, come in. So Toto lets her in, you know, and they, they have just this sincere backstory of talk and now we know why kiri doesn't trust people because yeah she came up with a bad family i mean she died of starvation and the only reason she survived was because of her powers so insane man. very that one hits hard you know the fact that she died out of starvation and the her upbringing was so bad yet not being able to die and hearing that backstory was really golden. I really, that, it, it's crazy because Kiri sometimes is annoying. And I can see why people don't like her character. But because of this chapter, you you kind of liked her. You kind of liked her. And she really opened herself up to Tota. And she really went, all, you liked her in this chapter because she went all out. She really expressed her feelings in this chapter. I mean, at one point, Tota holds her, and she like she asks, you know, can you can we stay like this a little bit longer? Because Tota says, I'm never gonna abandon you. I'm gonna be here for you, uh, uh for the rest of my life. As RF, we're the only two. Don't worry, I'll never abandon you. I'll never, you know, I'll never treat you bad. Just you, you're I, you're a friend. You're a friend. Okay, you can act like a little girl if you want to. 
and she does. She does. She's just uh, she's just in bliss. Right. She's happy. She's happy that some she could trust somebody, even though a lot of people at the end and uh, a lot of people that helped her out, like she can't trust them. The way now that she trusts Tota, which is crazy, which is good, because Tota's getting more uh, companions closer within. Like he's, it's gonna be insane in upcoming chapters if these people ever do are able to die at some point. But uh, yeah, it's just a great chapter to see her just really express herself. So you know, both of them end up sleeping on the mat. You know, she wakes up first and she's like, oh, she she freaks out. She's like I did sleep with them, and she's uh, you know, she. It's funny because Tota says, you know, you really do look cute, which is kind of, you know, it's, it's just bring more fire to the pairing. I don't know if there's any pairing wars for this, but, you know, just the pairing wise. And then we see, you know, Kiri wake up. Tota's still out of it. Uh, I don't think he's out of it. Do you think he's out of it? I think he knew. No, just kidding. Uh, he's still out of it. And he's a man. When he's falling, when he's asleep, he still gets some, some morning kisses because that's exactly what she does. She says, what if I kiss him again? Will this everything go back to normal? She's like, no, after she kisses him, and she, she kissed him. She definitely kissed him, and everything went back to normal, which, hey, all right. Tota got another, I guess, but she is kind of, she's kind of a kid. Uh, but she is older than him, I guess. It's it's, it's crazy how this manga works. <laughs> but, yeah, everything goes back to normal. Um uh, it's funny, some of them had their face drawn and stuff, like a mustache and stuff, but, uh everything just goes back to normal and it was it was a good chapter i really did enjoy this chapter this is it really showcased kiri's character it really just brought more to it and i think it really made her more human if that's crazy she's immortal but made her more human so good chapter really good chapter really solid chapter a lot of great things happened in this chapter and a lot of things that i think we're gonna go that way i didn't think there was gonna be a four months of this happening i thought okay it's gonna happen maybe two weeks and then i'll be able to fix it uh i thought you i thought tota would have more of a moment with yukihime but we got that moment because when yukihime wakes up she sees the jacket on her so um of course she's gonna know that's tota's jacket and she'll probably give it back so i, I love i always look forward to more of those moments but for today's for tonight's chapter kiri and tota like Really, really great, really great, really strengths the bond up, and uh, I, I just feel like this is Cure for the win. This is Cure for the win. This is Cure's chapter, and I really did enjoy it. So, uh, thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Would really appreciate it. I do have other UQ holder, and I do uh, talk about like overall the series and how catching up with it. Like the video if you like it. Comment below. Love to hear you guys' thoughts. This is a great manga. If you haven't checked it out, you need to check it out. You can read it on Manga Reader, Manga Panda, uh, any anywhere. Just type in UQ Holder and put manga. It's a great manga. It's a spinoff to Nagima if you've ever seen that series. I really highly recommend you read this. It's really good. Good action, good comedy, and some good romance. You need a little romance in your manga sometimes. So really check it out. And don't forget, I am doing a star wars podcast at the star wars movie uh we'll see how my time is though and it's gonna be very interesting with the uh, naruto countdown when that ends as well so thank you guys for saying i'm dan and i'm out <laughs> bye guys